Welcome back explorers, this week we head to the heart of the Welsh countryside and on this week's episode we delve into an abandoned Victorian manor with a history as dark as the 18th century corridors that run through the property. Legend has it that this house was once home to a family plagued by tragedy and despair. Whispers of paranormal activity have echoed through the halls for decades, from ghostly apparitions to the unexplained happenings. The tales are as haunting and as creepy as the house itself. This week we head inside to not only recount the stories told about this house, but uncover the truth itself. So join us as we head inside, seeking answers to the mysteries that lie hidden within this forsaken manor. Will we encounter the supernatural, or will we find rational explanations for the stories told? Only time will tell. Huge manor in the middle of absolutely nowhere, completely abandoned. Wow, how cool is that? Head around the back. Boarded window, it's been smashed. Smile, you're on camera. All overgrown out here, isn't it? Doors open there. Let's go. Happy days. Hello? Look at the ivy growing at the door. That's straight up. That's going off straight away. No. Huge snooker table. That is insane. Look at the decay. Yeah, what's that? Pictures on the side, coasters, Christmas. Farmer there. Wow. More Christmas cards. Katie's not going off now. It's not. Not now. Oh. It is. Look at that. Yeah. This is insane. Yeah. And the Katie is going off straight away. Artwork's still here as well. Puzzles. This is going all the way to red now. All the way up to red, mate. That's a very good start. Another pool table. If there's anyone that would like to communicate with us, can you take that light all the way to red for me now? Going to yellow. Is there electric? No, nope, no electric. So there should be nothing setting that off. Do you say no electric? No electric. But the K2 is going off as if yeah. something's setting it off. Look at the Atlas on the wall, mate. If there is somebody that would like to communicate with us, 
Can you touch this green light for me now, please? Maybe an owner of the house? Somebody that lived here? Yep. Do you mind that we've come here? Strange. Gonna keep that going. Oh wow, the paint peel in here. The decay as well, mate. Creepy. It is vibes, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going under. Oh, look at that rat. Oh. Little rat. What? <laughs> no, it's not alive. So guys, vibes almost instantly. K2's going off. This is crazy. This place is absolutely full of the last owner's possessions. I mean, stepping into this kitchen now. Wow, look at this. Huge dining room table. The old dressers. Even rocking chairs. It's got a musky smell to the place. The cobwebs hanging at the top of that dresser. Cupboard. Is there somebody in this house with us now that would like to communicate with me? Can you touch this device? The lights will change, they'll go to orange, red. They won't harm you in any way whatsoever. It's just an indicator to let us know that you're here. Wow. And that you want to communicate with us. Buttons all over the floor. Is that okay? Could it be his? We understand that this is your property and we are just visiting. We don't mean any disrespect being here. Look at the decay over there. Paint just peeling straight off the wall. Food in the cupboards here. Wow. Absolutely crazy. Look at it all. The tin's completely rusted. The labels have gone. Oh, it smells. Chip shop mushy peas. Rice pudding, milk. Just completely full. Washing still on the side. Look at this place. Huge dresser. Family photographs. Just so much here. Is the owner of this house in here with us now? Can you speak to us? Can you let us know that you're here and that you're willing to communicate? Let's keep going guys. Look at this old, old stone floor though. And the back door, wow. Cobwebs just hanging. And this entrance takes you into the double doors, into the main house. Look at that, smooth as you like. Let's keep looking around, see what else we can get. Wow. Sitting room. Hot water bottle still on the chair there. Reclining chair. More artwork and clocks on the side. We've even got shoes. Still sat at the end of these armchairs. Oh, look at that. K2 going off as I put it next to the old photograph. No name on it. But we've got farmers, black and white photos, fishermen there. Seeing all this left. If anyone from these photographs is in this house, can you touch that device for me now? Is that possible? Anyone that may be in this photo album? Oh, look at that. I just said anyone that's in this photo album. 
and the K2 just went crazy. I mean, there's a lot of people in here. Very old photographs. Can you tell me if you're male or female? If you're male, set the light off now. Okay. Okay. All the way to red. Is there any females in this house? Set the light off to red now. If there's any females. Well, that's strange. A little bit of a flicker. Maybe the male presence is stronger in this house. Old recordings. Cassettes. The dead flowers mixed with cobwebs on the windowsill. Isn't that very strange how I said, is there any males? And it went all the way to red. And then I asked if there's any females and it was just a little flicker. Very strange. If there's anyone in this room that would like to speak to me, come and touch this device. Come and do that now for me, please. Is that possible? Trinket cupboard, been cleared out. But look at this, family photographs. Wedding pictures. Is there anyone from this picture in this house now? There's even jewelry on the side. Males clothes there as well. Okay, so going off the interaction so far, I asked if there was males, it went all the way to red, really strong. I asked if there were any females and there was just a little flicker. So maybe there is both but one's more prominent than the other. That would make sense. Look how thick they are, man. And look at that front door. The stained glass, the ivy growing over it. Why is this door shut? Looks like another living room. I don't think we're gonna be able to get in here. TV over there, another cabinet. Is there somebody that would like to make contact with me now? on this stairwell. <gasps> Thank you. Is this the male of the house? Is this the man of the house? The owner? Look at this grooming sat on this unit, right next to the front door. So you'd have your jackets hung up on there. And before you left, you'd wipe them all down. Make sure you were looking good, looking fly. Should we head upstairs? I think we should. Flickering away nicely there. This is a huge house guys. I think one, two, three, five, six bedroom. We're gonna start at this end upstairs. Bathroom, only a small bathroom eh? Look at this. And look how shiny those walls are. There's no need for that whatsoever. And we have grooming things, brill cream. Razors, after shaves. The bath has been pulled away from the wall for some reason. Into bedroom number one. Wow, oh my days. Wow. Time capsule. Armchairs either side of the big old fireplace. Speakers up on there. There's even a wig look. What the hell? Lava jackets. If there's anyone in this room, can you reach out and touch this device for me? TV and VCR on the side. Another old unit. Photographs. Very dusty. But look at the size of this room. And then you've just got that small bed. Very strange. Oh wow, you can see where he sat with his binoculars looking out the window there. Check that out. Can we open these, just see the view? Wow, beautiful. And this old wardrobe. Cleared out. No clothes in there, but Look at the detail in there. 
amazing. Just place that on the bed. Is there anyone in this room, maybe in this bed? Can you set that device off? Can you change the colours on there? Oh my God, as I said it, as I said it. Can you tell me if you were the owner of this house? Little flicker. Were you the man of this house? Or is this the female that I'm speaking to? So only a faint little flicker there when I asked, but still something. And like I said, there's no electric in this house whatsoever. Nothing should set that off. I am quite far away from it. And it's just placed on the bed and just flickered when I've asked a question. So that's brilliant responses. Can you set that device off one more time for me? Do you mind me being here? If yes, set that off for me now. If not, we will push forward. Hello. Oh my days, look at this cobweb. Oh God. And oh, no, it's not. Oh, we've got all bedding and pajamas in there. That's a nice old wardrobe, isn't it? Oh, look at this, just clothes piled up. Oh, you can really smell the decay on them. So some activity in the bedroom on the bed there, which is always good. Let me just check this light. No, nope. completely clear. Old telephone there, check that. Old house phone. Another bedroom. Oh. Wow. Cleared out though. Just this dresser. Oh, I didn't even notice, look at that. Old suitcase. Bedroom number three. Still has the bed in here. Still has the dressers. Definitely a male's bedroom. <laughs> K2's been going off quite a bit, you know. Has it? Yeah. It's brilliant. It is, and it, you can feel it, can't you? Oh, look at that. Just a single shirt hanging. Yeah, 100% got a creepy room, I have too. K2's going off as well. It's proper dark and dingy in here, isn't it? It is. It is. I know the curtains are closed, but... Yeah, I think it's because it's overgrown, though. Yeah. Let me just put that on there, because I got a little bit of... If there's anyone in this room with me now... Go ahead and touch that light, that green light. As we said, it won't harm you, it'll take a little bit of energy, but it will just let me know that you're here. Can you do that for me? When I asked it in the other room, yeah. got a little flicker out of it. Uh, on demand? On demand, yeah. Can you do that for me in this room? Or are you in the other room? I just did two taps. You not hear it? Might have just been me. I heard one that. Yeah. Is that you tapping? Is it rats? Could be. Pretty big rats. <laughs> Nothing in there, though. No, Towel ball over the floor, though. <laughs> I noticed that. Just these rooms. Look at these cobwebs, man. Bloody disgusting. Just keeping this in view because it has been going off. Oh my days, check this room out. The bed's still made in here. The dresser. Look at the... Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? I don't know, toilet roll it looks like. Jewelry box. This is definitely a female's room. Just buttons in there. Look at the ivy on the window. TV there. If there's anyone in this room that would like to speak to us, come and touch this device for me. What the hell is that? Woman with dogs. See your titties. Pop that on there. Step back. 
Is there anyone that would like to communicate with us? Oh my days, you can still see the dirt where her head was in the pillow. Bit of stain in there. Bit of nighttime reading. This room's really dark, guys. Is there anyone that would like to speak to us? Anyone that would maybe like to communicate a message? Maybe you just don't want us in the house? Oh, happy birthday wrapper at the bottom there, that's weird. Can you touch this device in my hand now? Can you come close to me? I am just curious to see if somebody's here. Don't mean any disrespect. Don't mean any harm. Just here out of curiosity. It is more on the other side of the house, isn't it? Like downstairs, got quite a lot of activity on this. In the front bedroom, the first bedroom, but now it seems to have gone a bit quiet, doesn't it? Bedroom number, God knows. Oh my God, look at the cobwebs. Oh, KT went off then when I wasn't looking. We'll keep it, we'll keep it out with us. The cobwebs though. This looks like a child's bedroom, for sure. Just a single dresser in here. Oh, there we go, look, there we go. Thank you for touching that device. Is this a child's room? Come and change the lights. If there's somebody that would like to speak to me, maybe play a game, come play with this device, this toy in my hand. It'll change colours. That's all. This is the last bedroom. Here we go, look at this guys, two single beds in here. Gonna pop that on the bed there. Wow, look at this, old ambulance jacket. St. John, Wales. Fur hats, coats. Look how overgrown this garden is outside. And as we said, like it's quite light outside, but then inside, it's so dark. This is definitely a children's room, isn't it? You can just tell by the vibe. There's an old fire there too. So I'm just gonna ask one more time to see if they can touch this device. If there is any children in this house, would you like to come and play with this toy that I'm holding? As I said, it'll just change colors. Won't harm you. It'll just take a little bit of effort on your part, if that's okay. I know this has gone off already quite a few times. Can you just do it one more time for me, please? Is that possible? Just trying to keep an eye on it. Is the person that slept in this bed here? What the hell is that? What's a sleeping bag? Is the person that slept in this room here? It did go off in this room, didn't it? Is the person that slept in this bed here? Strange how it went off before when I walked through. Don't seem to be getting anything now. Seems to have gone a bit quiet. Okay, Explorer, so we are up in the main bedroom where we got some activity earlier on. We have got the K2 on the bed. We have the Ovulus over here. And we are just gonna set this to work out if there's any movement in the room, any tremors. So if I give that a little tap, we have set it up on his favorite little workstation there. And we're also gonna use the spirit talker and we've got the REM pod over in the doorway there. Hopefully we'll get some activity. So if the person that spoke to me earlier using the K2 device is in this room, can you speak to me now, please? If you have a message to be passed on, can you do that for me now? Can you tell me your name? 
that would be an absolutely amazing start maybe you'd like to touch one of the devices in the room on the bed yes Flash candles up. candles unfortunately I do not have any candles with me right now Ovulus has just picked up a slight tremor in the floor can you touch one of the devices maybe the one in the doorway the red light it'll change colors it'll make a noise it'll just let me know that you're here with me the K2 on the bed is going off can you do that again alone alone Matt is downstairs he's in the games room I've come up here to try and speak to the spirit that I was speaking to earlier. Silent. Silent. What's silent? Do you like the silence? Is that what you're trying to say? You don't want to set the, the noisy equipment off? She killed. She killed. Who? Who killed? Okay guys, so, the ovulus, village. village, the ovulus just spiked quite a bit over there. Is there somebody in that seat? And again, can you do that? A picture. Guys, the ovulus. Can you feel me? Right, I am moving towards this now. Right, that was me. If there's anyone sat at this table now, look at we that. We like you. We like you. I like you too. Look at that movement. Vibrations. Marie. Marie, is that your name? So we've got village picture. Can you feel me? We like you. And Marie. Look at the spike. Machine. The machine, yeah. Can you touch that machine? next to your binoculars wow look at the movement as i walked over it didn't set it off it's very sensitive can you make a knock on that table where the binoculars are leave right now leave right now i'll leave when you can just help me out a little bit can you set that off again for me can you move that table slightly just knock it maybe There's a little tap there, look. Real. Look, that's my knee hitting the floor there. Let me just get close to this. See? Can you do that? Can you make a little knock on that table for me? I am not moving a goddamn muscle right now. Where the binoculars are, Look, look at that little dip. And again. Can you move it properly? Can you set that device so it does a really big, oh my, so it does a really big spike? As I was asking it. That's crazy, so I asked for little taps and it's giving little motion yes, sensors. We're here. Yes, we're here, thank you. Can you touch this device on the bed again? Is that possible? I was treated bad. Why were you treated bad? What happened to you? Can you tell me? Yes, we're here. I was treated bad. Why were you treated so poorly? By who? The K2 has calmed down a little bit. But the spirit talker has been rattling answers out like there's no tomorrow. Can you tell me if you mind me being here? Is that okay? I will leave if you ask me to. But I just want to make sure that I am actually communicating with yourself properly. I just want some proof if that's something you can help provide that you're here 
You don't want to talk now, now? Belittle. Ooh, belittle. She belittled you. I was treated bad. Belittle. Are you talking about a mother, maybe? A wife? Is that who was belittling you? Elijah. Elijah, is that your name? I'm just moving around a little bit just to see if I'm setting off that. Good evening. Good evening. Just to see if it's me setting off the motion sensor there. But it's not at all. Is somebody sat in that chair by the window? Is that Elijah? Come on, you don't have to be shy with me. I don't mean any harm. We can whisper. You can whisper? That would be absolutely amazing. Can you whisper to me now? Can you tell me something? There's a device in this doorway. Can you go towards that? The red light? The closer to you get to it, it'll change colours. It will also make a little noise, a little tune. Can you do that for me? Is that possible? I'd really appreciate it if you could try your hardest to communicate through the devices. On demand, hopefully. You were touching this one earlier on. Can you do that again? Can you make the colours change? There's now two lights over in this corner. Can you manipulate either of them? Or both of them? I can show you how with this one. The children are heard. The children are heard. Can you do that for me? The children are heard. Can the children hear me? Can the children hear me? Can you tell me how many children there are here? Can you tell me your story? Can you tell me why you're here? Are you aware that you've passed away? That you're no longer in the living realm? Are you aware of that? There are my footsteps. Right. Yep. So, this device again. Can you make a knock on this table? Can you make this device spike? If you can do that now. Wow, as I said now. Can you make can you make the spike a little bit bigger for me? Just so I can tell that it's you. It's dipping, look. So it is picking up some sort of movement on this table. One more time. Can you do this step for me now? Look at that, dip, dip. So just to show you how sensitive it is. Let's get this yes, no going on it. Yes. Right, so yes is green, red is no. Can you tell us if you're the owner of this house? Is that possible? Take a seat. Take a seat. Mine. Mine. Take a seat. My seat. Okay, so. We've got the yes or no here. We've got the device that you can speak to. Is this your favorite part of the house? Is this where you like to relax? No. 
Is this the owner of the house that I'm speaking to, maybe? Did you own this house, the land? Come on, I've come and sat down. I've done what you've asked. No. So what are you doing here? Who are you? Is this a family member's house? So you can actually see it being manipulated. Absolutely amazing bit of kit. Is this your family member's house? No. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused to who you are then. Hiding. Hiding. Are you a child? Are you just playing with me? Once again, green is yes, red is no. Are you a child? No. Are you lying to me? I feel like they might be messing me about here, guys, because these answers are all over the place. Yes. So you're not a child. It's not a family member's house. Yes. Were you here before the house? Have you been here longer than the house? Longer than the people that lived here? Yes. Okay. Name. Name. My name's Adam. Can you tell me your name? So I'm watching this. Head down towards no. Can you tell me your name? I've told you mine. Fair's fair. So it's agreed to me that it's lied. No, it's not going to tell me its name. Are you what we would class as a spirit? I will appear. You'll appear? You can appear. You can show... No. Are you what I would class as a demon? It was zooming up to yes and then stopped. Are you an entity? An energy? No. What is it? Tell me, what are you? I'm very confused. Are you well known? Yes. Worldwide? Are you known all over Affair. the world? Affair. I'm just trying to work out what I'm dealing with here, yes. So it says it's not a spirit. It says it's not an entity. But it's well known and it's known all over the world. What else is there? Are you a djinn? Patience. Patience? A gin? So it said it's not a demon, it's not a ghost, it's not an entity. What the hell is it? What are we dealing with here? When I said it's a gin, yes. I've never dealt with shit like that before. They're like um, pranksters, aren't they? Of the afterlife, they're like, yes. Do you mean to do me any harm? Are you capable of doing any harm? It's not gonna tell me anyway, is it? It's messing me about. But it's asked me to come here, it's asked me to take a seat, so I have. As I went to sit down, it said mine, as in my chair. We're enjoying this. You're enjoying it, great. You enjoy messing me around then, yeah? Well, I'm not going to sit there and let you mess me about. No. No. I'm not going to sit there and let you mess me about. You're not in charge here. 
it was heading towards yes yes so you believe you're in charge you believe you can mess me about prank me lie to me yes so you believe you've been here longer than the house than the family that lived in this house yes like i know for a fact this is a very old village there is just down the road there i'm not playing i'm not playing a free 400 year old graveyard which is now abandoned this is just messing me about it's it's telling me one thing telling me another it's telling me it's lying to me that it's not a spirit it's not a thing not a demon it said it's a gin stop stop doesn't like me yapping i'm not playing we're enjoying this we can talk we can talk talk then talk to me set a device off come on We've got two perfectly good devices there, full of battery, full of life, full of energy. I want you to touch one of them. It just goes to show because this rampart, the last couple of weeks... Two men here. Two men here, yes. Yes. I'm here, Matt's downstairs. Very observant of you. Would you like me to get another device out that Listen you... Listen to this. What? Okay, Explorers, so we're in the middle of the house, we're in the centre, we're in the hallway, upstairs. Should be a lot of activity when the house was lived in. We are going to use the Necrophonic, just see if we get anything. Hopefully we'll get some voices through, maybe something relevant and to do with this actual house. So fingers crossed, something will try and communicate with us. So, whoever we have been speaking to so far, can you speak to me now through this device? Can you tell me why you are here? I'll say God though. Can you tell me who you are or what you are? No. Venom. Venom. So I was asking earlier if you were a spirit, you said no. Can you tell me now with your voice? What are you? What are we speaking with? Me. me. You hear that? Yeah, speaking to me. That's crazy. So I said, like, are you a spirit? It said no. Are you a man? Man. Man, yeah. I had a baby that as well. Yeah. You, so you told me you were here for a very long time, even before the house was here. Can you tell me why you're here? Can you tell me what this house looks like to you? Is it possible? Dark. Dark again. Yeah. So you've been here a very long time. Have you seen people come and go from this house? Families come and go? Young. Young. Young families. What? It's not like someone fell in the room behind you. There's nothing in that room, it's an empty bloody room. But not, not like an object, like something was like, like a stone or something, like there was just a little There's rubble. Oh, maybe it's something fallen. Did you just throw something towards us? Yeah. Is there a man or a woman here with us? That's what I got before. Man! Man. Is he a bad man? Is he scary? Is that what's scary? Yes. Yes. Why is he scary? Why is he scary? What has he done to scare you? Loads. Here. Here. You here now? 
Do do something to scare us. Behind you. Yeah, I heard that like a knock. Yeah. I'm not moving at all. I know. Can you do that knock again for us? Hmm. Was it you that knocked behind me? We want you to do something really impressive. We want you to show yourself. We want you to move something. We want you to do something. Get out. Yeah, but it also sounds like not now. Not now. When? Do it now. Yeah. It's not the kid room where you got the activity on the K2. Mm hmm. Is there somebody in this room? It's like a whistle. Can you make that knock again for us? That was weird. That freaked me out a little bit. Did it, I just heard like a... Like something... No, when something wobbles and it... Yeah. Does that... That's what it sounded like. Is there something in this room? That's when it did it, wasn't it? Somebody in this room with me now. Girl. Bad. Bad. Matt, it just said girl bad. Is there somebody in this bed? I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. <coughs> I'll stand over here and see if I can hear it over here. Yeah. We've got the whole landing covered then. Yeah. Can you make a loud knock or bang for us now, please? Mate, behind me. Can you do that one more time? That was almost on demand. Is there someone stood next to Adam? Maybe you can try and knock again? <laughs> Did Mate. you hear that? Yeah. Thank what? you so much for doing that. Do it one more time. Mate, that was crazy. That was on demand, wasn't it? Like, perfect. Please, please. There's a haunting. <laughs> That's crazy, mate. That's that. Hello? Bro. I know, mate. There's something going on in there. It started off so quiet. 
There's definitely something in this house. Definitely. It's weird though, because it started off so quiet, mate. And now we come together. Seems like really active up here. Mate. I know you just touched that, but like. Did you go on camera on? No, it was behind me. Oh my god, it's behind me. Oh, it's creeping in now, isn't it? It is. Should we head down? Come Okay, Explorers, so we're just in the games room as we believe there will be a lot of activity when the families lived here. Just going to finish with a Necrophonic again. Matt's got his REM pod on the pool table, which has just shit me up because it's so loud. <laughs> but, um, hopefully, as we were getting activity upstairs, we will continue to get a little bit down here because it did sound like there was some noises coming from down yeah, here. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay, so whoever we heard downstairs Come into this room and communicate with us now. A device on the on the snooker table now. If you go near that device, that was horrible. One. I have never heard that before. There's a device on the snooker table. Can you go towards it? Say it. Three. Three. No. No good. The voices seem a lot stronger. Yeah, trying. We can see that you're trying. Thank you so much for talking clearer to us. Can you try and test that device that we've put on the on the snooker table? It'll light up and make a loud sound. Can you do that for us? Can you go and touch that black device on the table? I know you've not wanted to tell us so far, but can you tell us what you are? Is that possible? Look how it goes quiet straight away. <laughs> Come on, tell us what we are. Tell us who you are. It's only so half off then, though. It sounded like. <laughs> You're not one of the people that lived here. You said you were here first. You said you scared the families that lived here. So who are you? You said scary man as well, don't you? Mm. Is the scary man here with us? James. James. Is that what it said? Sounds like gin. You say gin? Say so James. Say so Jim. Hmm. That was weird. Whatever it was, it's not saying it again, is it? Just. Did you die on this land? Are you buried here nearby, maybe? Do you believe this is your land? Yeah. Burning. You live here first? It was like a little girl, yes, and a male no. Three, two. Tap on the what window. Was that, right, we'd like you to make another tap like you did when we were upstairs. Can you do that for me now? You were getting awfully loud when we were upstairs. Do it now, we're in here. <gasps> mate, I absolutely shit myself on. That was. Mate, that was on point, mate. Like, precise, mate. You scared us that time, I'll give you that. <laughs> Never moved so fast, man. Oh, mate. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing that for us. I feel like we were getting somewhere with the questions. 
and then they were like it's weird though because you were like can you do that again you were getting quite loud upstairs and the next minute the yeah. fuck goes off yeah do it again one more time nice and loud big loud knock like this set that device off again come on That's, That's shit, man. Yeah, that really shit me off, You got the strength to do it one more time? Did you find that funny? It was one of the kids, one of the children, yeah, playing with us. It was right on bloody cue, though. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, that genuinely shit me up, then. It couldn't have been more on point, mate. It was ridiculous. Right guys, I feel like we're going to leave it there. It has gone a bit quiet now after he's just scared the life out of us. But I definitely feel like there is something in this house. Maybe it warrants coming back. Maybe of an evening. Because yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. this house is absolutely crazy. And it is absolute vibes. We are on to the next one. I'll see you next week. Let's go. What ending? Shit myself. I fucking said I'm absolutely shit myself. Woo! Fucking took off and then I threw the fucking window. <laughs>